So here's another trigonometric equation where we have to use co-ratios to change the sign and the cos into uh, expressions that we are able to to make equal to each other. And the only difference this time is we have to solve the trigonometric equation on an interval, which means we are looking for specific solutions. Okay. So to change cos into sine, we saw is actually extremely easy. All we do is add 90 to the to the inside to the interior there so we're going to keep this negative sine negative 2x is equal to negative and this one changes now into sine and instead of having um, x minus 115 degrees there should be a degrees we're going to have x minus 115 degrees plus another 90 degrees okay and uh, now we also see that we've got negatives here in front and that's a little bit of a problem but just a little because to get rid of that negative in the previous question one side had a negative the other side had a had a positive and then we can change that negative um, by changing the angle inside here to be a negative as well however since both of the sides are the same, all we can do to get rid of them is divide with a negative 1 on both sides. So there's no problem and I simply have sine of negative 2x is equal to sine of x. Uh, 115 minus, what does that give me? 25, isn't it? Okay, so negative 25 degrees. Okay. And now I choose any one of the two as my reference angle. In the previous one, I chose this one to be my reference angle. Let me choose the other one now. The other one, that is now x minus 25 degrees to be my reference angle. And for sine, my solutions are my reference angle plus 360 times k and 180 degrees minus my reference angle plus 360 times k. Those are my two solutions. So the first one says my um, and I must have something equal to and to that and if I choose this to be my reference angle that one will uh, be my object of my formula in other words will come on the right hand side left hand side so I have negative 2x is equal to the reference angle x minus 25 degrees plus 360 times k I've got that here but um, and that if I solve it I must subtract an x on both sides subtract an x on both sides so I get negative 3x is equal to negative 25 degrees plus 360 times k divide both sides with a negative 3 and what do I get? I get x is equal to, uh, I suppose I can round this one to two decimal places. 3 goes into 24 8 times, so that becomes positive 8,33 degrees plus. This must also be divided with a negative 3, but again, I don't need to change the sign since k already takes values, um, all the negative and positive values, so it, we can keep it positive positive 120 times k where k is an element of integers so remember k is just a placeholder at this stage for all positive um, or for all whole numbers uh, or integers actually so that is the one solution and before I get to that solution let's first find all of the solutions on this interval using this okay it doesn't matter when you do that I'm going to do it now so we can find that um, we must go from 0 1 2 etc negative 1 negative 2 find all of the solutions that fall on this interval first of all we've got 8,33 when k is equal to 0 we only have 8.33 which is greater than 6 negative 60 smaller than 135 so that is one of the solutions 8,33 degrees now if we make k equal to 1, we have 120 plus 8.33, 128.33, also still a valid solution, 
0.33 degrees, another solution that will be allowed. If I take 8.33 and I subtract 120, I get 11.67. Okay, 111.67 negative, and that I think is too small. Yeah, that's too small. So I can't go and subtract, go in the negative direction, it won't work. Okay. Uh, adding 2 in the positive direction gives takes, means I'm adding 240 and that is already too big. The most I can have is 135. I'm close enough as it is at that point. So subtracting 1 didn't help, subtracting 2 won't help either. So off to the next solution. The next part is where we take our other angle which was negative 2x. We take negative, t negative 2x and we make it equal to 180 minus our reference angle. This was my reference angle, so put it in brackets because otherwise you're going to forget to multiply in the negative. Okay, plus 360 times k. And we see that this simplifies. This is negative x, so I must add an x on both sides to get it to the other side, so that I have negative x is equal to 180. Okay, negative 25 um, is multiplied with that negative to make it positive 25, so this becomes 205 degrees plus 360 times k. And now, if I divide both sides with a negative 1, negative 1, I get x is equal to negative 205 minus 360 times k, but again, k is just a placeholder, so let's keep it a positive. So, now we have to find values on this interval. Let's see if we can do that. First of all, if k is equal to 0, we have negative 205. The smallest I may have is negative 60. Doesn't work. If k is equal to 1, I have um, negative 205 plus 360. Okay, that gives me what? Uh, 55, 155. 155 is too big. Okay too big 155 is too big doesn't work so 2 is also not going to work adding the period twice how about subtracting the period well we were already too small when we were at 0 so subtracting another one will just make it smaller so this is actually an empty set there are no solutions um, using this second part of our uh, general solution Okay, so that one, so this is the only, that's my only answer, two answers for this equation that will satisfy that equation and that falls on this interval. Okay, that is the end of the complex trigonometric examples that I'm going to do. If you have any questions, please post, post them. If you have a complex trig equation you can't solve, also post that. I would love to respond to that answer. Speak to you later.